I guess in this video I am going to discuss what find largest of whole numbers using ternary operator. So this is the code to find the largest of whole of number of using ternary operator. So here I have taken four integer time variable ABCD and here console dot right line. So this all display into the output screen here B, C and D. So this is the here uh, use of ternary operator. So let's execute and check first. So into the number, into the first number going to into 3, here 9, here 45 and here 32. So 45 is the largest number, here it's a display 45. Now here after, let's execute again. So at here going to into 12, here 89, here 67 and here 112. So 112 is the largest amount for, so here it's a display 112. So this is the first way we can find largest of whole number by using ternary operator. Now here after I am going to make that comment and here going to uncomment here. So if you like you can use this way or you can like or if you like then you can use this way also. Now execute the code. So add here into the number 12 here 89 here triple 5 and here 90. So Table 5 is the largest among 4, so it's a display table 5 here. Now, here after I'm going to explain this code, so this code I pasted here. So, if you develop the code, control comes to main method here after that coincides. So, at here I've taken uh, at here 4 integer type variable first is a, next b, here c, and here d. Now here after console dot write and enter first number so this will display into the output screen and whatever we enter so first that accept into a string format so that here console dot write line and after applying int dot parse method so it now convert into integer and store into a so going to store a value to a and here this uh, display into the output screen enter second number and accept by b so at here going to enter or uh, b value 43 and here after enter the third number this or display into the output screen and here whatever we are going to enter so that asset by c going to enter c value 21 now here after console dot right line so this or display into the output screen into the fourth number and whatever we are going to enter so that asset by d so at here going to enter d value or uh, here 9 now here after i have taken extra 3 variable first is x1 and here x2 now here x1 so a greater than b and here that check a greater than b 12 greater than 43 so this condition and here that check 12 greater than 43 so this condition and here false so if this condition is false so this is the true part here this is the false part so here that go to this point and here this comes to this point and here a b value this b value that go to x1 so b value is now of 43 so x1 become 43 now here after c greater than t so 21 greater than 9 this condition is true so if this condition is true so and here this part x cubed and this c value that go to x2 so c value add here 21 that go to x2 now here after uh, control comes to this one x1 greater than x2 so add here x1 value 43 and x2 value add here 21 so this condition add here true so if this condition is true so that print add here x1 value so x1 value go to large and here that print 43 is the largest so this is the things here. Now here after you can enter any number like uh, let's uh, check this time going to enter a value at here uh, 112. Okay, do one thing. So at here uh, going to enter a value or 12 and b value this time going to enter 43 and this time going to check C value at here 55 and here this is now 11 okay so C is the greatest among all 
Now here after three extra variable, first is x1, next is x2 and here LAR. Now here after x1, a greater than b. So 12 greater than 43, this condition is not true. So that to, if this condition is false, so add here, this part will execute and b value that go to x1. So x1 value become 43. Now here after or x2, c greater than d, c value is now 55 and d value at 11. So this condition is true, so add here c part that executed. So c value go to x2, so add here 55 that become x2 value that become 55. Now here after large, x1 greater than x2, so 43 greater than 55, this condition is not true, so add here x2 value that go to large. So add here this value is now 5 that go. Now here after console dot right hand so 55 that print. So this is the way add here the program that work. So this is the first way you can use or if you want then you can use another way also. So add here let's see oh, another way. So here this is the things. So here oh, so add here LAR first integer type variable I have taken LAR. So first let's keep for a value, b value, c and here d. So a value going to enter at here of 11. This value is now going to enter 12 and here, here 19 and here going to enter d value 21. So the d is the largest. Okay. Now here after there is a and operator I'm using. So and operator to if all the condition is true, then that value become true. So true and true here, there is an extra one more and operator. If all the condition at here, it's a true, then that become true. So true, 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 then that become true. Or if any condition is false, so that become false. So at here, a greater than b. So 11 greater than 12. So this condition at here false. Okay. And a greater than c. 11 greater than 19, this condition false again. And here, 11 greater than 21, so this condition also false. So, at here, condition is false, so this will not go to this part. At here, control comes to this point. Here, that control. Now, B greater than C. So, B value is now 12, 12 greater than 19, this condition at here false. And here b greater than d. So b value is 12, 12 greater than 21. This condition also false. So if this condition is false, so this will not go to this point. Here control comes to this point. At here c greater than d. So c value is now 19, 19 greater than 21. So this condition at here false. So if this condition is false, so this will go to d part. And here this is the d. So d is the 21. So 21 that go to lar. So add here 21. This value is now 21. That become console dot right. So add here that print 21. Now here after that, so check add here going to enter a value 11, b value or uh, 21, c value 55, and d value 9. So c value add here that is greater. So add here or uh, a greater than b. So a greater than b, 11 greater than 21. So this condition is false. So if this any condition is false, here. Yeah, so it resulted come it's false. So this will not go to this part. Here b greater than c. So b value is now 21, 21 greater than 55. So this condition also false. So here false. So no need to check extra pass. So if this condition is false, so at here that comes to not go to this part here. That checks c greater than d. So 55 greater than 9. This condition is true. So at here this condition is true. So at here control comes to this point. And here this value is now 50. C value is now 55. So this 55 value that go to large. And here that print 55. Now suppose if I enter or uh, a value triple one. So at here triple one greater than 21 condition true. Here this condition is true. And here triple one greater than 20 or uh, C value 55. This condition is true. And triple one greater than 9. So this condition also true. So all are true, then that print a value. So a value, so this will not going to check other part here that print a value. So a value is now triple one, that go to large and here that print triple one here. 
So you can use any kind of method, whatever you like. Yeah. So this is the only you can solve the code by uh, best writing one lines of code. So this is quite uh, uh, complex here. Um, I'm using uh, two and operator greater than, and you're yeah, making the codes quite a simpler by using. So whatever you like, you can use. So this is the way we can find the largest of whole number using ternary operator. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.